Hey guys, welcome back to 7th Stan User. Last time, we had a really, really, really long episode. I did not mean for that to happen, but hopefully I've remembered at this point to split those two episodes in half so that you guys don't have to watch such a, a long piece of shit. Uh, but now, we're back for the stupid Darby fight. Uh, and uh, I learned at the very end of the last episode that you need to actually win the uh, gambling thing. If you don't win, nothing happens. You die. Oh god, it is loud, at least on my end. So, anyway, it seems kind of weird, but we have to follow kind of like... Oh, sorry for hitting the mic. We have to fight a very specific, uh, like, restrictions that we have to go through. So, uh, it's gonna be weird. He wagers his soul. I didn't mean to hit the mic anyway. I <laughs> just wanted to remind you guys. I did not mean to kill you. Alright. So, just start the game. Open the game. Let's see. Now, we have to, like, catch him on this. So, here goes the guide. You have to go down to, like, hold it. And then, uh... Check if he's hiding anything, inspect the deck. There's no way I can take the deck from him. So, uh, there is an option in the wiki that says, take the deck from him. Darby will ask if you want to inspect the deck, say no. Uh, all we can do now is just... So, why is it not letting me do that? Uh, uh, that's my Discord, not yours. It's okay. Don't worry, I'm not scaring you. I'm just scaring you. <laughs> anyway, I can't really do anything, because we're in stage one. The only way to jump to stage two is if you, like, getting to, uh, it's like, so there's a bunch of options. You have to choose to get to all the way to the end of it. But it's going to be, like, kind of complicated, because at this first try, I'm sorry my Discord's, like, going insane right now. The only way I can get by is if, like, to get to the third stage, because we have to skip over it, is if we get an option that called take the deck from him. Like, don't even say anything. But I can't get that to appear. Like, all it says is the only one I've got a choice that even brings me forward is never mind. Aren't you distrustful? <laughs> And then he just says, you suck, I'll deal. Then it jumps to part two. Uh, so, be begin the game. So, now we're in stage two, and you can only do play your hand or hold it. You're given some choices, but no matter what you pick, you won't come up with any proof. You'll lose a chip. So you just have to keep on seeing if he'll cheat until you get the option to take the uh, deck from him. So just begin the game. So, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Uh... Slides the card into his hand. Either of these will not uh, bring you forward. Saying, hold it, there are no options, so you just have to go play your hand, because you just lose anyway. <laughs> He's always just gonna fucking, like, kick your ass. Uh... So, if you do hold it... Uh, check if he's hiding something. It doesn't show when that appears, like, that certain option. Because it doesn't actually like, help you. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't... Let's see. If you, uh, either by cheating or on the very, very... You actually win the game fairly, you'll receive a badge of honor. You might be able to cheat one to two times without being caught, really. Unless you have extreme luck, you won't be getting that badge of honor. I mean, I guess I just need extreme luck if I want to get through here. So this could be the most, like, toss-up episode you're ever going to see. I just have to... Uh... We just need more options. So, just keep on saying never mind. Because in stage two, you cannot progress. There's 
no way you can unless you actually get the chance to like keep going forward. So you'll be given some choices, but no matter what you pick, you won't come up with any proof. You'll lose a ship. Just begin the game anyway. I don't know when that option will show up. Maybe just after a while, you'll suck enough. You'll just suck enough. Uh, just keep doing it. Three of a kind, fives, too bad, straight. Yeah, he's most definitely cheating. Okay, so hold it again. In an attempt to keep on finding shit. See, check if he's hiding anything, nothing will happen. Inspect the deck, nothing will happen, never mind. I still... Oh, here it is. Take the deck from him. What is it? You want to inspect the deck for foul play? Let's see, and then you go to... No. You haven't cut the cards yet, Darby. Oh, you wanted to cut it? In that case, you should have said that from the beginning. Don't try and fuck with us. If we don't make... If we don't cut it, it makes it easier for you to cheat than you shuffle the cards. Hmm, <laughs> not necessarily. You can't prove it. There's no way... There's no way to tell I'm not just... Getting the right cards at the right time. You son of a... We can't afford to let our guard down for a second. We can't possibly be expected to trust him. We should switch out the cards for new ones and get someone else to deal. Hmm, <laughs> Aren't you distrustful? If you like, you can pick someone else to be the dealer. Someone we don't know, of course. Darby is munching on chocolate carefully. He's probably eating Hershey's. Like, for some reason, I had a fucking, like, craving for Hershey's when I was on my Yuma trip. No clue why. I was just that fucking hungry. So, uh... Anyway, I'm looking at the guy. Alright, Avdol. Go grab that kid playing soccer over there for me. Handed the deck over to the child. Well, shall we begin? Start. So, uh, now we are in. Uh, the child is the dealer. So, if you get to stage four, it's not going to work. Like you get to, you're in stage three right now. So you've either got begin the game or hold it. So, if you uh. Instead, say, hold it. Oh, I am playing on my browser. That's not what I want to do. Okay, so I don't know if it's start the game, but uh, hold it. What do you want now? Insist someone you know deals. That's how you skip a chapter. That's how you skip to stage five. No, I want Avdol to deal. Hmm? Me? Yeah. For all we know, Darby could have paid off everyone here. If Avdol deals, it's the only way to make sure no foul play is involved. Now hold it right there. Why would I let a friend of yours deal? How can I be sure he isn't going to cheat? If you're unhappy with this dealer, then pick someone we don't know. We have no intention of cheating. And more importantly, didn't you say the one who lets himself get cheated is the real loser? That's a good point. Alright, Avdol, it's all yours. Understood. Pass the cards to Avdol. Okay. So, after that... Uh... So now we just... Begin the game. So, go back. Start the game. Showdown. Slip. Darby stealthily slipped a card in between his body and the table. Let's go down to hold it. What is it now? So, uh, check if he's hiding anything. So, check if he's hiding something. What's that? You want to see if I'm concealing anything? Hm, <laughs> do as you will. Jason checked Darby's person, but he wasn't carrying anything out of the ordinary. Just chocolate and whiskey, huh? Hmm. Nothing out of the ordinary, yes? Not yes! Hmm? Then by all means, tell us what the problem is. It's the chocolate. Ch -ch -ch chocolate? What's strange about the chocolate? Let's see. See, he's using it as an adhesive. Wh what do you mean? The chocolate that that's on those cards has a sticky substance on it. Nougat, maybe? Sticky enough, in fact, to where it could be used to adhere it to something else. Do 
you may be right. D then, wh what do you think I stuck the cards to? Well, that is... Let's see. So, now you choose... Uh, <laughs> they're stuck to Avdol! Avdol, you've been cheating the whole time! They've been stuck under the table. Jotaro, watch Darby's hands. And Avdol, could you take a peek under the table? Uh, under the table? Mm. Th there are cards stuck underneath! And right in front of Darby's chair, too! Uh, I see. So that's how you're switching the cards out. He used the chocolate as glue! <laughs> and if we can find the cards with the ones we were using and count them. 60 cards! That's seven too many! These cards. We must have taken them when we exchanged the decks and hands. Then by sticking them under the table, he could keep them hidden while still being able to stealthily re retrieve them during play. That's why he was eating the chocolate in the first place! That piece of shit! He's gonna get constipation! So he's constipated and cheating in poker. How could he do it? <laughs> Darby, you're disqualified! Ah. And then he starts vomiting. Now we can just beat you to death. Hey, Ponera for Mr. Joestar's souls. They're returning to their bodies. They're saved. Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. Since they, since we lost by disqualification, their souls are being released. <laughs> Is that a good? evil laugh voice for you guys? <laughs> All the souls from Darby's coin collection were set free. Hey everyone, come back! Let's play Mahjong! Backgammon's fine too! Dice is rather thrill thrilling as well, if I do say so. I'm the best! Yahoo! <laughs> Looks like he's lost his marbles. And his collection is moving on to the afterlife. But it looks like he's in no condition to be interrogated about Dio. Still, he was a fearsome opponent. He took almost all five of us in one. Thanks to your help, Jason. That could have been a dire situation if not for you. Even though I would have fixed it in the end and it would have been fine, but, you know, timeline. Yeah, just don't ask me to do it again. I think I saw my life flashing before my eyes. I mean, I, I died once, so, you know. I just have too many cat lives. Meanwhile, while the group was gambled against Darby in a Cairo cafe, a room at the Speedwagon Foundation's secret base. So they finally reached Cairo. They're facing their next opponent as we speak. If things continue according to plan, they'll have no problem finding Dio's mansion. Just as they're fated to do. At this rate, according to Destiny, they'll defeat Dio at the cost of many lives. But we can't allow that to happen. Yes. Nothing will change that way. Those terrorists, the slaves to fate, present a problem. Of course, we, w we won't just let them do as they please. With the help of the seventh person, we can dispose of the path to heaven. Yes, it's the only way for things to return to how they were. Let's go over what Mr. Steele said one more time. The false world created when time accelerated. This world began when Maiden Heaven was birthed from that book. After cycling many times, the past, presents, and futures but the parallel worlds began to blur together. Just like a, a phenocytoscope? Phenokissoscope? I don't know how to pronounce that. The many pictures rotate, eventually merging into one. I don't know how it became like this, but it's like an optical illusion appearing as a single animation to the untrained eyes of the observer. That's how this parallel world was born. Surely, this too is the work of a stand. But whose, I can't say. Or why they wished for this world to be created in the first place. But the decisive moment is drawing near. Our opportunity to stop time from accelerating. To erase the path to heaven. For now, all we can do, that, all we can do is pray that he is able to reign victorious over fate. Yes, things will definitely work out. I believe so too. Fate, fate, fate. There's a lot of fate going on. I've never even watched that anime! <laughs> I've heard fate is... I haven't heard much about fate. I just know it's very big titties. <laughs> very big titties. Well, now we're in Cairo. 
What next? I think we should keep asking around town. I'm sure there's someone who knows. Gathering information is important at all, but I, but I say we should stop by the hotel first. There's probably some enemy stand users on the prowl. Only we'll to save our strength if we want to stand a chance. What will you do? Hmm. I don't know. So you can either, like, walk around town or return to the hotel. I'm gonna look at what that could mean. Uh... I don't know. Let's see. I'm not sure what's going on story-wise. Like, should I go or should I not? Let's see. After defeating Darby, you'll be presented with a choice of continuing your search or stopping by the hotel first. Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh... Uh... Hmm... Uh, it is a centralist triggering a small event. Okay, uh... So, you either have two things. You can... Uh... I'm trying to see... What's going on? Uh... I need to keep asking around. It seems like that's what we should do. In that case, why shouldn't... Why don't we ask the construction workers? They should know a lot more about the different buildings in this town. Jotaro. Yeah, if you want to, uh get access to something else, we need to actually go down this path. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed your flight. We're now arriving at Cairo International Airport, as scheduled. Please fasten your seatbelts. Whoops, sorry. We got this taxi first. <laughs> Do you mind? We got some. You got something to say to me, huh? Idiot. <laughs> ah! Hmm? Hmm? What, what the? Hey, you blow his ear off! How could you? Take me to the... I can't do the... the voice. Take me to the Mina Hotel in Giza. I'm a cowboy. I forgot how I did Whole Horse's voice, so my, my Whole Horse voice has been out of commission ever since we left the submarine. Well, I'm gonna open the trunk now, okay? It's bright out, so don't hurt your eyes. Huh? Did you say something, sir? I wasn't talking to you. Shut up and drive. One of the nine Egyptian god stand users, Boingo of Thoth, was inside the trunk. Mm -mm -mm. Boingo, I know you hate me, so this was the only way I could get you to on get you on the place. <laughs> Don't try and be cute with me, Boingo. You know your brother's stuck in the hospital for another month. From now on, you'll work with me, whole horse. <laughs> with your book and my gun, those Joe stars won't know what hit them. Right, Boingo? <laughs> I know you're extremely antisocial. That you don't trust anyway but your big brother, Oingo. But you want to get revenge for him, right? You don't want to grow up to be a wimp, do you, Boingo? I don't know about you, but I'd never leave a job half done. Fight, Boingo. Avenge him. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna take the duct tape off now, but you promise not to scream or cry, alright? Mm -mm. <laughs> Atta boy. There's no need for you to be nervous. You'll make yourself sick. I'm your buddy. Just ease up and relax. Relax. Whole horse ripped off the tape. I don't know what this water noise is. I guess he's crying. Boingo vomited all over Whole Horse. <coughs> I can make a lot of good throw-up noises. I've done it a lot. <laughs> well, well. A little air sick, aren't we? Still, we're friends from now on, Boingo. <coughs> we haven't even seen Boingo or Oingo yet, so... I'm gonna make sure to put a save right here so that if something bad happens... Hi, I'm Boingo. This here is Whole Horse. He's a mean son of a gun. 
when Boingo was sleeping, he tied him up with rope and locked him in the trunk. Now Boingo's away from his brother, and he's super lonely. But in order to get revenge for his big bro, he's gonna work up all his courage to work with Whole Horse, no matter how scary it is. Anyway, there's the Joe Stars. I've been fixing roofs and roofs. Yeah, I mean, why do I think that roof, like the multiple, the plural, is R O O V E S? I don't think that's the plural for roof. I don't think that's. I think I'm just crazy. Let's see, I've been fixing roofs and roofs. That's such a strange word. You don't put F S all that much. In, you know the English language in Cairo for 40 years, but I couldn't really tell you where it is. There's a lot of houses that look like it. Looking at the architecture, it's probably over a century old. You'll have to go further south. See, in Cairo, the further south you go, the older the buildings are. Sorry I couldn't be of more help. No, that's great. Thanks. We meet again, my old adversaries. Is what I kind of want to say, but... I didn't think they'd gotten this close to Lord Dio's mansion already. I better make this quick. Which reminds me, Boingo. <laughs> Are these your new predictions? Because I don't believe them. How could something this... This stupid happen? <laughs> my, my, my... 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 My pre... You're trying to say my predictions are 100% accurate, right? Y yes uh, Damn it. No one in their right mind would believe this. Not in a hundred million years. Whole, whole horse read Thoth's comics. Because Thoth just allows you to see... What could be the future if you do the actions? <laughs> it's a very confusing stand. It's a book. I finally found him. Joseph, Jotaro, Ponoraf, Avdol, and Jason. Damn it, they're closing in on Dio's mansion. I'll shoot those Joker's brains out. Whole Horse is mad. I'll avenge you, brother. Boingo is mad too. But Whole Horse can't use his Emperor just yet. Ready, Whole Horse? Stick your fingers in Ponoraf's nose. Then, tickle him. Hooray, they started bleeding and passed out. Lucky you, whole horse. It's a perfect chance to kill them all. What? Oh, man. Are you sure this is right? I get the part where it's my chance to kill him, but why do I have to stick my fingers in his nose? What the hell, Boingo? Don't try and fuck with me. Listen, for argument's sake, let's just say I did stick my fingers in, okay? Wouldn't it be easier just to shoot him with my emperor? You, 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 you c c can't sh shoot them. Yes. I I if you try to fire, fate will force you to do uh, otherwise. I, 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 I believe it. I if you don't follow the comic, you, you, you will suffer. I I it's destiny. I'm 100% sure. Then why didn't you keep your brother from failing? M my brother turned into Jotaro to, to protect himself. If he didn't, the real Jotaro would have exploded. My predictions are never wrong. Whoa! Ponoref's gone. Where'd he run off to? Freeze, asshole. P Ponoref. Ah! Don't try anything funny, moron. Hands where I can see him. I thought I saw someone tailing us like a hyena, so I slipped away from the group. Man, this bring back this brings back memories, huh, whole horse? Still trying to kill us, eh? Arr, arr. Thanks for earlier. It's a good thing Jason didn't really die, or I would have been I would have killed you by now. Arr, arr. You here alone, whole horse? Nah, I doubt it. You've probably got a friend lurking around nearby, right? I'm not afraid of you by yourself, but your talents really shine in a pair. You said so yourself. So where's your pal, whole horse? Idiot. Your book and your fingers are showing. Hot already. He finds you were both finished, Boingo. D trust the book. If you didn't try your gun, you wouldn't have gotten punched. Trust destiny, and, and victory is certain. Hmm? Hmm? Shit, he saw you. What? There's someone under the box. Hey, Av Avdol. Hey, me. <laughs> hey, Ponoref, where are you? Did you find out who was following us? Eh, that sounds like Avdol. He's coming over here. Trust me. Stick your fingers in his nose, now. 
Jones. Seriously? Damn it. Fine, I'll do it. Here goes nothing. Hey, you under the box. Show yourself. Now's my chance. Pull horse stuck his fingers in Ponoref's nostrils. Okay. What the f- I did it! Hmm? Uh... What exactly are you trying to do, whole horse? Uh... I, I did just what the comic told me. I stuck my fingers in. Now what? What comes after? What's going on, Ponoref? Can you hear us? Did you find them, Ponoref? Yikes. They're, they're coming closer. Havdal and the others are here. Chariot! Oh, no you don't! What? Sh shit! I got you now! I'm faster! Move and I'll shoot! Hey, are you listening? Ponoref! <laughs> I cannot decipher whole horse versus Joseph. It's just not something I can do. I'm just like, hmm? Oh, there you are. What's up? Was someone following us or not? Eh. Damn it! I I'm backed up against a wall here! Didn't it say if I stuck my fingers in his nose, I would have the chance to finish him off? Because this is a complete opposite! I'm screwed! They find me here, I'm history! I, I think I'm gonna cry! I should've just shot him when I had the chance! Curse you, Boingo! My gun is faster than his sword! I could've done it! Why me? You think some? You better think of something fast, Ponoref. If I'm, if they find out I'm here, you're dead. N nah, we weren't being followed. I'm just imagining things. I see. By the way, why are you standing in the corner? Say you had to pee. Say it now. I uh, well, I kinda had to pee. <laughs> what? In the Jotaro, in the middle of the street? Have you no shame? Gross. Damn it, he's embarrassing me. I know, I'll single to them. I'll signal to them. Everyone, watch out. Hmm? <laughs> Just a lot of hmm going on. Look where my tongue is pointing. Behind me, behind me! Hmm? Ponerof? Come on, look behind me! Well, that's all, I guess. You guys go ahead. That's a bluff, a bluff! Don't go! Look at my tongue! Don't pay, pay attention to me! Look at that little face he's making. It's like, Preed. What's wrong? Your face is all messed up. Did you hurt your tongue? Is he practicing his funny faces? Hmm? No, something is behind him. Oops! Idiot, don't say it out loud! Bonereth! You son of a bitch! You tipped them off! I'll fucking kill ya! Die, you son of a bitch! Uh... Choo! what He sneezed? Whoa! Totoro! Whoa! That's... Whoa! Oh! Guys, watch out! It's Whole Horse! There's something underneath that box, too! No, no! He sneezed cause I stuck my finger... My fingers! <laughs> my fingers! My fingers in earlier! If he hadn't sneezed, I would've killed him. Damn it, I never should've partnered up with you, Boingo. I'm toast. All because of those goddamn predictions. It's over. Look, boss, it's him. Ah, uh, it is him. That asshole blew my ear off at the airport. I'm gonna crush him. Pfft, what? Ah! And we all got fucking hit by a car. The, the, the truck. Slipped on the oil I knocked over. And it happened so suddenly. They didn't have time to ready their stands. Everything went according to the prediction. I can't believe it. Five people at once. Yes, it's destiny. My predictions are always accurate. But you can't finish them off yet. Let's see what the book says next. Okay. Ah, uh, sure. There's not much to save, but okay. Hooray, it's time to kill them all. But be careful, don't close in on them net, yet, Sit, wait and see what happens. The other three are out cold, but not Jotaro and Jason. They're getting up. T 
lag. Urgh. So Jotaro and Jason got out of the way in the last second. That was a close one. If I'd gone to check it out, they would have definitely retaliated. Hmm. They're looking for me. Since I left the scene, instead of coming to deal the finishing blow, they're getting antsy. What? Don't you... Don't you want... Want... Want him... Don't you want to him beat? Don't you want to beat him? There you go. Don't you want to beat him, Boingo? Why have we made it this far? At this point, I'll do anything the book tells me to do. We're so close. Boingo, what's next? How do we wrap this up? Your comics predictions are 100% accurate. I, I believe it now. I'll obey it to the letter. I'll stick my nose up. I'll stick my nose up anybody's fingers. How do you stick your nose up fingers, dude? Wonder if it's just that. No, the whole horse is just that good. You, you know, it's just like how Araki always said, Ponoref and Whole Horse were way too similar. I can see it, I guess. I'll eat shit if that's what it wants. I just want to win! <laughs> Here it is! The, the final prediction! What is it? Are you ready? It's time for the climax of our story! Whole Horse found some pipe workers! Now he's gonna pay him to open up the pipes for him. If Whole Horse pumps all his bullets into the pipe, the bullets will come out to the other side of the street. Wow! At 12 o'clock on the dot, Whole Horse's bullets went straight through Jotaro's brain! H here it is! The prediction! I've been waiting! It's finally here! <laughs> this is great! It definitely shows Jotaro getting shot! But, but wait! We gotta be careful not to hit, misinterpret it! Remember what happened to your brother? That happened because he changed his face to Jotaro's inadvertently. But this time, neither you or I can do that. Y you're right. There's no way in hell that could happen. Which means... Y yes I can avenge my brother! Yes! There's no getting this prediction wrong. If you shoot your bullets into the pipe, Jotaro will die, just like in the picture. But ho hold on. It said exactly noon, right? Wait, it said noon? It means we've only got two minutes! D don't worry. All you gotta do is shoot into the pipe. You've got plenty of time. It it's fate. It'll happen for sure. Uh, it seems that like you're missing something, but okay. Right. 100% it all had. I believe, but the clock is ticking. I'm getting kind of nervous. Uh. Hey. How are you doing? Where's Whole Horse? Well, fuck you then. It's taking me a long time to get over there. How about I just go hug Whole Horse? Hey, Holy, how you doing, bud? Been a while since I last saw ya. Whole Horse is watching the pipe workers carefully. What will you do? Uh. So I can either ambush him and, uh, fight him or try and persuade him since, you know, we had that little adventure. But that makes me, like, you know, makes all my friends hate me. So if I ambush him, I'll. F you know, lower my karma, but my karma's already so high it doesn't matter, so... I'm gonna ambush him. Whole Horse! <clears throat> Sorry, bud. Whole Horse wants to fight. Preemptive strike! D damn it! Of all times to show up! Sorry, Holy. Sorry, Holo! It's time to die. What kind of attacks? It's been a while since I've actually fought. Tornadoes. Whole Horse was sent flying! Yeah, Whole Horse is pretty sucky by himself. So, just me throwing fucking tornadoes at him. Damn, he can do a ton of damage. Uh, if I take another hit, I'm fucked. Uh, what does the game say? Um... Uh... Let's see. So, actually, you don't need to kill, uh... What's his name? Whole horse. You just have to kind of sit around. I could drink some, uh, soda while I'm here, just to, you know, make him feel bad. Don't worry, whole horse, I know the one way to beat you. Drink soda. Jason is running for his life, he started drinking soda. Like a true master. Anyway, you don't need to actually, like, do anything. Just sit here and waste his time. At least as far as that's what the guide says. Okay. Sorry. But you were never that good, Holy. Drop dead, Jotaro! What? Yes, just like the prediction. He'll die exactly at noon. Aye. Jotaro, 
I, I think I made it somehow. Ugh, I lost consciousness, but I am almost mostly unharmed. But Ponoref is covered in rocks. Ugh, help me out here, you stupid bricks. Did Jason leave to get an ambulance? And where's Whole Horse? I don't know. He seems to have left the scene. I win! He's right in front of the pipe! The bullets are gonna go right through his head! I'll blow you to pitch, Jotaro! Achoo! Jotaro was startled by the sneezing and jumped. What? Come on. <laughs> Sorry, Jotaro. It's all because that whole horse stuck his fingers in my nose. I don't know what he was thinking. It's still itchy. Yuck. My, my bullet missed? Hmm? Boingo, what just happened? I didn't hit him at all! Look, Jotaro's alive! Your prediction was wrong, damn it! See you again tomorrow. It's time for the 12 o'clock news. Huh? Praise Allah. Allah had... Al Alhamdulillah. Allah. I don't know how that means. <laughs> Why didn't you say Allahu Akbar? And I'm not saying that because it's like a terrorist joke. Allahu Akbar actually just means God is great. So, you know, a bunch of people who worship, who practice Islam... We'll just say that, because that's part of their religion. Don't don't be assuming shit about me. I know more than you think I know that I don't know that I do that, that I know. Huh? What? Did it just say 12 o'clock? Then that means my watch. It's fast. I just shot my gun before noon. So if it is noon, what's going to happen? Prediction said the, the bullets would hit Jotaro. Just like in a picture. The Emperor's bullets hit... Whole horse, straight in the forehead, just like the picture. Whole horse? Are you dead? Well, either way, it looks like you won't be getting up anytime soon. You were yelling and thrashing around trying to get your bullets in the pipe. I didn't think you'd shoot yourself. What were you trying to do? Sirens? Someone must have called the ambulance. Well, looks like I won't be seeing this guy again. Better go tell the others. See a kid in box. Hey, did you hear a scream coming from the corner just now? Yeah, whole horse shot himself in the head with his own stand and passed out. What? First he stuck his fingers in my nose, then he ran off suddenly. And now this? Man, Jotaro, I don't know what just happened, but this isn't looking good. Let's get out of here before the cops show up. Is he dead? No, just severely injured. I couldn't really tell you what happened. He has wounds that look like they were caused by gunshots, but there were no bullets. If the holes were one centimeter deeper, he'd be dead. Lucky guy. And so, one day later, the group arrived at a, at a hotel in Cairo, mere miles away from Dio's lair. The lair of Dio! <laughs> Finally, we made it. Dio is somewhere in this very city. I can feel it. He's close. Very much so. I can sense it with my entire body. Damn you, Dio. Hiding from us like a filthy sewer rat. This is where our long journey ends. Let's go. We need to gather intel. We'll split up and search the town. We have to locate him eventually. Alright, so... Now I can save. So, yeah. Y you wonder why we did that? I guess you'll know a bit later why we did that. I don't actually know why, I just know something will happen. So anyway, we were able to uh, get through the Darby fight and through the whole horse and Boingo fight. And at least the uh, Boing Boingo and Boingo, Bo Oingo Boingo fight got mentioned. Even though it already got mentioned earlier, but barely. Anyway, next time on 7th Stand User, we're going to go ahead and help search Cairo. So I'll see you guys next time.